that crane partially collapsed and struck the side of the Jacob Reese buildings along the FDR. It broke a window and damaged the exterior. The good news, no one was hurt in the incident. That's a live picture of that crane from the East Village. The FDR is periodically closed while workers try to dismantle that crane that is still there. The damage was limited to the Reese houses at FDR and 6th Street. I would News reporter Jim Dolan is there with the breaking news. Jim. Well, as they have opened up the FDR now in both directions, uh, it has been opened and closed, as you say, all afternoon, and they will have to close it again as they try to come up with a way of taking down that crane right there. They tried to take it down a little while ago. It didn't work. You can see it snapped this afternoon about halfway up while it was lifting some construction steel onto the roof of one of the buildings in the Jacob Rees houses. Let's go to some video taken uh, a little while ago this afternoon when uh, the crane collapsed. It hit a building, and a couple of dozen apartments had to be evacuated. Those folks still outside while the city works to stabilize that crane and take it down. Cynthia Martin's children were home when the crane crashed through their window. He heard a loud boom, and they ran. And all the glass was in the apartment. And your son was very close to it. My son was sitting right next to it. And thank God the curtains was right there where all the glass came in. I looked through my window and I see the crane heading towards the building, which of course star startled me. And uh, I thought it was about to hit the building, but then it snaps back. When it snapped back, it created like a, 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 like a minor shake and the, it shook the building. Yeah, everybody heard that shake. A lot of people felt that shake. And all those folks in those apartments that had to be evacuated, those people are still out in the courtyard waiting to be let back in. But that could be a while. The master rigger, a guy who's called the master rigger, is here trying to come up with a plan to take that crane down. But right now, uh, they tried a little while ago, completely unsuccessful. Right now, it's still up there, still not stable. And it may be a while before it comes down and before those folks are allowed back in their apartments.